So uh, our next guest is uh, Jenna from Grand Lady Cruises. Hi, Jenna. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great tonight. How are you doing? Great, great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm glad that you were here because, um, you know, a lot of times people think about, um, you know, Western New York weddings and venues and, you know, it's only until they go over the bridge that they see um, Grand, Grand Lady Cruises. So tell us a little bit about uh, you guys and, and some of your history. Yeah, so we have been in the Buffalo area for 22 years now. My father started the business in 1998. For many, many years, we um, were sailing from Grand Island, from the Holiday Inn at the time there. Um, then around 2012, we moved to Rich Marina, um, kind of in the Black Rock section of Buffalo. And ever since 2017, now we've been sailing um, from Buffalo Riverwork. So now we moved into the city itself. Um, so a little bit different route than what we had in the past, but um, we're an 80 foot long dinner boat. Um, we're furnished very much like any shoreside facility. We have a lot of enclosed dining areas. We're air conditioned, um, you know, carpeted cushion chairs. So we're essentially a banquet hall that just happens to also be moving while, while we are out and enjoying the beautiful so, summer weather. So is it the Niagara River you're still hit, right? Um, mostly now it's the Buffalo River, Lake Erie, um, okay. depending on the weather. We had a, typically down under the Peace Bridge and like the Black Rock Canal a little bit and nice. the Outer Harbor as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. I took a, a, a short boat ride out on onto the lake and it I felt like I was out on the ocean it's huge yeah mm -hmm. it gets it gets big out there quick yeah <laughs> it's uh it's, and it's absolutely beautiful you know all summer season we get some beautiful sunsets out there and it's a great way to show off the city for when you have out-of-town guests and a great experience for everybody on board um a little bit different than just your normal you know wedding venue um Mm -hmm. Well, and it's a whole different perspective. I don't think people understand unless they've been out on a boat to see that view of the city from out on the water. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and we get to go right out, you know, past Canal Side and all the new development down there and see it from the other side of things as opposed to, you know, being out on the boardwalk at Canal Side or seeing the um, you know, last year we had a lot of activity with the tall ships down at the waterfront and, you know, we were able to just experience it from the water, which is even better. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, with all these, uh, juggling of dates and stuff, what do you guys, um, have available or what are you doing for this upcoming 2020 season? Yeah, so we um, we actually have quite a bit available because, um, you, know, you know, unfortunately with all the uncertainty, those bookings that we had had earlier in the winter, you know, January, February typically is when our uh, phone lines start ringing and we start booking quite a bit of um, business. A lot of those dates have already chosen to postpone or there are groups that are typically a little bit larger that it's probably just not in the cards for this summer. So they have already, you know, chosen to go with next year or, um, you know, sometime in the future. So we actually had quite a few dates that were already booked that have opened up. Um, and we have come out with um, a few different small wedding packages and come going back to the micro weddings where instead of, um, you know, our usual capacity is more in the 80, 90 person range, but this year we're going to probably be more down in the 30, 40 person range, depending on what the regulations um, are at the time. Um, so to kind of have a more intimate ceremony on board, we have some packages that or it can be as small as, you know, 10 to 12 guests where you join us on one of our public dinner cruises, but you have a small private dining area. You'd have a little bit of exclusivity for that portion. You'd, you know, board um, ahead of time, have your ceremony on board. The rest of the guests would get on board and then we'd go out for a public dinner cruise. That's always an option for the super small weddings, the ones where you may have postponed, but you still want to do something on the date, maybe legally get married, have a very small ceremony you know, still celebrate and then have the party next year. Um, we have some even midweek sunset ceremony packages that we have. It doesn't, you know, days don't really matter anymore. It seems it's just, you know, every day <laughs> blends together. So why not, you know, you don't have to wait till the weekend to celebrate anymore. 
Yeah, um, the sunset is just as beautiful on Tuesday that it is yeah, on Saturday, right? Exactly, exactly. So we have a bunch of different packages. You can contact us. Um, our website is grandlady.com. Um, you can in, uh, it's info at grandlady.com is our uh, email address, and we can send those packages out to you um, if you're interested in those. And we are also taking um, you know dates for next year as well. And not necessarily always just for weddings. We do rehearsal dinners, we do showers. Um, you know, for our dinner cruises, we get a lot of little bachelorette parties that may start on board and then go someplace else. Um, you know, afterwards. So we have a we offer a large variety of different types of cruises. So. That's great. So do you guys have kind of like a projection date for when uh, you're going to set sail? We're hoping that um, we're still waiting to totally know what phase we're in. We're kind of in a weird middle ground where nobody's kind of willing to say one way or another where we are. We're hoping for phase three. Um, which would be, you know, if all things go well, you know, towards the end of June. Um, so we're thinking worst case scenario, it should be, you know, July 1st, early part of July. Um, so um, that's, you know, what we're hoping for at the moment. And that's what we're planning for. We'll be ready. We've had a lot of extra time, We've got the fresh coat of paint on the boat. Um, we had the boys down there today painting. And um, so we'll be ready to go whenever, um, you know, whenever we get the go ahead. That's awesome. July sounds good. In fact, Disney's opening or taking reservations for July. So yeah, let's, I think that's let's focus on July. Optimus, yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if people want to um, check out the boat, can they make a, a an appointment to do that? Once we're in the water, absolutely. We're still we're okay. actually out of the water right now at uh, Smith Boys Marina in North Tonawanda. So okay. um, hopefully within probably early June we'll have the boat at Riverworks. Um, in the meantime, we have a lot of photos on our website, on our Instagram page, um, on our on, and you know you can take a look at those. Also from weddings in the past of what they've done decoration wise and get a feel for the boat. Um, and then certainly once we're actually get the boat in the water and we're back to Riverworks, we'd be happy to have you come down to take a tour. That's awesome. That is quite a unique place, Riverworks. Yeah, uh, a little bit. There's a lot going, going on, on there. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have yeah. some fun there and then jump on the boat. It's absolutely, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. A, a, lot of, a lot of people come down for a drink before their cruise and vice versa. And there's always something to see and do down there, that's for sure. That's great. And I think once all this, this, I mean, we are so on the decline. I am so excited that, you know, once we get the green light, people are going to go running outside yeah. to go anywhere. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Yes. No, <laughs> yeah, no, we will. I, I, the, I, I will be certainly... one of those people running. Yes. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> yeah, but I agree. I think the lights at the end of the tunnel and especially the weather we've had this week just kind of reminds everybody that That's it's right. almost time. Yeah, so we've, good stuff. I, I've even noticed just this week getting a lot more emails, phone calls about people for kind of, you know, who are switching gears for this year, who had something bigger planned and now they want to go smaller for like August or September. Great. And I think, you know, so if you are interested, definitely like everyone's been saying sooner rather than later, get those dates on hold. Because like you said, as soon as we get the go ahead, I am imagining that all of a sudden all those dates will be gone. So yeah, yeah. So do it now. Do it now. Well, thank you so much for being with us tonight, Jenna. I really yeah. appreciate it.